Hi guys, I'm Takara. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. As you guys saw in the title, I am going to be reviewing the newest fragrance from K.I. Lee. This is their Young Pistachio Gelato 33 Eau de Parfum Intense. But before we jump into the review, make sure you guys go ahead and give this video a thumbs up because that really helps my channel out. Also leave a comment down in the comment section. Let me know whether or not you guys have tried this fragrance or if you're interested in it either now or after you see my review on it. <laughs> so with that said, let's go ahead and jump into the review. This is how the box looks. Love the mint green with the white. It's literally so pretty to me. And there's the bag and you know, they have the notes on the back and then of course the bottle just sits down in here like this and here is what the bottle looks like so pretty and peep my dent so y'all know i've been wearing this i got it maybe two two and a half it's probably been about two and a half weeks actually um and i've been wearing it basically daily so i can get a good idea of how i feel about the fragrance before i brought the review to you guys and there are what they consider to be the key notes on the back of the fragrance and the cap is like a matte white so pretty with the gold underneath love this bottle this is definitely my favorite bottle of all the fragrances but i purchased mine from sephora and the reason why i purchased from sephora is because well i don't have anywhere here where i can smell any of the kaoli fragrances in person so anytime i'm purchasing those typically it's going to be uh, a blind buy so for me, the safest way to do that is to purchase from Sephora because I do have a couple, I think, of Sephora's here. So I could just take the fragrance back and return it in person if it doesn't work out. And I recommend anybody to do that. If you're thinking of blind buying a fragrance and you're not sure how you're gonna feel about it, definitely purchase from Sephora or like some department store if you're able to. I think these are only sold at Sephora and then on the Huda Beauty website. But being able just to return it in person just makes it a lot easier for me personally. And as you guys can see, I still have it and it, there's a substantial dent in it, which means I at least somewhat like the fragrance. <laughs> so jumping in to the review, like I said, I've spent plenty of time with this fragrance so I have an idea of how I feel about it. And I think my opinion on it is maybe an unpopular one because it doesn't necessarily fit most of the reviews I've seen. Some have said something similar to what I'm feeling about it and majority haven't. <laughs> now, the first thing I will say is that I do smell the pistachio gelato notes. I know that's one thing a lot of people who tried the fragrance said they had an issue with. They felt like they couldn't smell any pistachio or anything gelato-like. Now, I will say the first time I sprayed this, I did get a lot of that citrus in the opening and I believe the citrus note is the bergamot note. To me, bergamot smells like a, like a spicy lime scent and that's how it pulls off in this fragrance as well. I do still get it now. In the beginning, that was like what I smelled most prominently in the opening. And the mid to dry down was basically the same as how I'm still getting it. But after the first time I sprayed it, cause you know, sometimes you need to just kind of spray the fragrance a little bit to, in a sense, like it's kind of activated. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, but I really feel like a lot of time the fragrance smells so much different the second time I spray it as opposed to the first time. Y'all let me know if that's something you guys experience as well. But the second time I sprayed it, I smelled the pistachio gelato in opening as well, in addition to that uh, like spicy lime scent. And then there's also like a bit of grayness in the opening as well, which could be coming from that bergamot note or it could be coming from one of the mini floral notes there in the fragrance. I'm thinking maybe like the geranium note. I know there's a cardamom note in the opening, but I don't really smell it. Cardamom is a note that I'm not the biggest fan of. It's usually very like herbaceous on my skin. So I don't think I'm smelling the cardamom note in this at all, thankfully. So that's why I get in the opening. You get that pistachio gelato, that spicy lime scent from that bergamot note, and a hint of something green. The greenness in here almost smells kind of like pine to me, <laughs> like pine tree, but it's not off-putting to me at all. I feel like that combination in the opening meshes really well together. Now, when it starts to dry down a bit, like in the middle, the middle phase, to me, that part of the fragrance is the most clean smelling part of the fragrance. Um, I will say that the middle phase is my least favorite, but I don't necessarily dislike it. I could have done without it, but <laughs> I don't dislike it. It doesn't turn me off or I don't find it off-putting. So in the middle phase, there are loads of florals in it. I don't have the notes in front of me right now, 
but I know there's a lot of florals in the middle. There's like a, a clean, fresh, powdery scent that I get in the middle phase of the fragrance that uh, it lingers throughout, but it settles after the middle phase. It's not as prominent in the fragrance as it is in the middle phase. Now I will say that I think that the middle phase is what lasts the longest time throughout the, the wear of this fragrance for me, which also is in my preference because that's my least favorite phase of the fragrance. I'd say it lasts for maybe about an hour and a half, two hours before transitioning into the, uh, the base notes. Now through this time you start getting more of the base notes um, while you're still in that middle phase. But you do still, I still get the middle phase, the middle notes, those florals most prominently throughout that one and a half, two hour span. Now the dry down is my absolute fave. That's when you're getting all of the deliciousness. By this point, most of the floral components that are in the mid um, have settled quite a bit. And um, you're getting more of like the notes that are listed as the key notes on the back there. Pistachio gelato, I'd say the whipped cream marshmallow, and then the cotton candy. The cotton candy here is similar to the cotton candy note. Well, not even the cotton candy note in pink sugar. It's similar to that burnt sugar scent that uh, I get from pink sugar, but not overly burnt, because I know that was the issue I had with pink sugar when I first tried it. That was just like, like in your face, like straight up burnt sugar scent. I thought it was the licorice note accompanied with like the caramel note, but that that's here, that's present here. I don't know if it's like the nuttiness from the pistachio gelato note mixed with like the cotton candy note or what that's giving me that similarity. And I was also thinking like it could be the cocoa note as well that's in this fragrance. It's not listed on the back, but I just remember there being a cocoa note in it because it gives it like a warm, like deep sweetness. So like I said, the dry down, Definitely my favorite. It's sweet, it's creamy. It is just delicious and yummy smelling as the bottle implies. With all of that said, I watched a lot of reviews before I purchased this fragrance because there were a lot of mixed reviews on it. So by the time I got my fragrance, I was kind of prepared for it to not be as gourmand as the advertising made me think it would be. <laughs> because of my fellow uh, fragrance girlies reviews that I watched. Most of them seemed either underwhelmed or a little disappointed because it wasn't just straight up gourmand or if they weren't disappointed, they literally said that it wasn't a straight up gourmand fragrance. I agree with that. It's not a straight up gourmand fragrance. To me, this is more of a, a fresh floral spring summer gourmand which i think is perfect for this time of year at least where i'm at right now we're in spring and it's hot outside and this does perfectly in warm hot weather because it's not overly sweet and it has that fresh floral component to it as well so i enjoy it i really enjoy this fragrance actually i love it and i kind of wish that i got the 100 ml bottle because y'all see my dent and it's been one that i've been wanting to reach for basically on a daily basis so I'm not upset that it's a fresh floral gourmand fragrance. I like floral gourmand fragrances. I do feel like the company could have done a better job of marketing this fragrance because I remember just seeing the ads with like, I think marshmallow and the pistachio gelato. It kind of honed in onto the gourmand components of the fragrance as opposed to recognizing the floral components, which I feel like are very prominent components of this fragrance as well. So I don't feel like they should have been left out of the marketing because that is what basically disappointed a lot of people. We thought we were getting a straight up gourmand fragrance, you know? I was a little disappointed watching some of the reviews before I even got the fragrance. Cause so I'm like, they didn't even like mention that you would be smelling the floral notes. There are no floral notes listed on the key notes in the back of the fragrance. The key notes are listed as pistachio gelato, hazelnut, sweet rum, whipped cream, marshmallow, and cotton candy. So if you read that and you see the advertisements that the company did, you're gonna think that it's gonna be a straight up gourmand. I understand why they didn't go that route, especially with it being released at this time of year. But like I said, I do feel like that should have been expressed more in the advertising. But with all that being said, like I said, I do still really enjoy this fragrance. Now I know some people had issues with longevity and projection. <laughs> I feel like I'm always the odd man out when it comes to that because 
I don't know if it's just my skin. I do have naturally oily skin, so that's something that I have to, to make known when I'm making reviews because I feel like that's part of the reason why fragrances typically last on my skin and I don't really have problems with longevity um, when I'm wearing a fragrance. So that's the only thing I can think of, but this lasts for me. Granted, after about five hours, it's more of a skin scent. Is that even true though? Let me count really quick, y'all, because I've worn this to work a few times. And one time in particular, I wore it to work, sprayed it on probably around 7.30 that morning, did not touch it up all day. And around like four something, a little after four o'clock, I went to the restroom and I was walking back to my office and one of my coworkers was walking behind me and he was like, oh, you're baby powder fresh today, ain't you? And I'm just like, huh? <laughs> I don't use baby powder, y'all. So I figured he had to be talking about this fragrance because that's the only thing he could have been talking about. I didn't put on lotion that day, I don't think. So it had to be this fragrance he was talking about. And so I turned around, I'm like, I smell like baby powder. <laughs> Cause that was intriguing to me. Cause by this point, of course, we're in the, we're in the dry down now. Cause what, 7.30 to 4.30 is how many hours? That's nine hours y'all. Nine hours and the fragrance was still projecting. And when I go to work, I don't spray heavily at all. That day I might've done, I know I just sprayed my torso. So I probably did maybe about four sprays of the fragrance just on my torso area. And nine hours into the wear, I'm getting a compliment. I didn't even spray it on my clothes that day. So I was shocked. But that right there tells you that it lasts. By that point, I wasn't smelling it projecting or getting a whiff or anything. So I probably had gone anosmic to it, which is something that may be happening to some of you guys or some of the people who are having um, issues with longevity. Maybe ask somebody around you if they can still smell your fragrance and that'll let you know whether or not it lasts or not on your skin. But for me, obviously it does last and even nine hours in, it was still projecting. Now the baby powder comment. I asked him, I'm like, it smells like baby powder? And he was like, well, not necessarily baby powder, but it smells like, like fresh, like I smell fresh and clean like baby powder fresh that's what he was saying when he said baby powder fresh just i just smell fresh clean powdery is what he was trying to say so to me that told me that he's not picking up on the sweet notes my boyfriend when i first tried it and asked him if he smelled me because i sat down in his car and i was like do you smell my fragrance and he was like yeah it smells good i'm like what does it smell like and he was like powdery and like i told you there is like a clean a fresh clean almost soapy powderiness that I get from this fragrance. But since that was two people who said that, I feel like that must be how it pulls mostly on my skin when worn alone. And I asked my boyfriend also if he thought it smelled like fresh or like more on the sweet side. And he said it smelled both, <laughs> which makes sense. I said fresh floral gourmand. So I, I think that kind of gives like an indication of what type of fragrance this is just based on uh, their comments about it. This is one that I don't think will be overwhelming in the heat or just like in general. It's one of those soft, warm, like come hither scents in my opinion. But I feel like this is perfect for day or night just because of the scent profile. It has that fresh floral component, which is great for like the daytime, especially in the warm weather. And then it has the sweet gourmand component, which works for nighttime or daytime as well, because it's not overly sweet and y'all <laughs> my first time having pistachio gelato was <laughs> once i got this fragrance because i was just so curious to see just how close it was or if it was similar because i remember watching mona's video and she was eating it and she said that this has like i think the the smell to taste technology that's something else i wanted to mention because i feel like this tastes like pistachio gelato what Bro, what are you talking about, man? It's not overly nutty at all, in my opinion. I smell the nuttiness, but in the sense of how pistachios taste and not necessarily how they smell. So that's why it doesn't smell overly nutty, in my opinion. I don't think they were going for that. I think this smells how pistachio gelato tastes. And just so y'all know, I tasted the Talenti pistachio gelato. If you like it and you haven't tried it by that brand, you definitely need to. If you haven't tried Talenti gelato in general, you need to. They have like the best store-bought gelato. That's not up for debate. <laughs> but no, seriously, it was so good that I was like, I should've got more. That, that will get me in trouble. <laughs> I digress. But yeah, I think that's it. 
scent wise, uh, projection wise, for me, I get whiffs of the fragrance for probably up to like five hours and then on me and to my nose is more of a skin scent where I have to like kind of smell um, where I sprayed it to like get a whiff of it. But that's about normal for me with most fragrances. So I know some people were upset that it claimed to be an Eau de Parfum Intense, but I'd say on my skin, it is giving Eau de Parfum Intense, especially with it still projecting nine hours in to somebody else's nose. <laughs> and I get at least eight hours of wear from it. I've sprayed on overnight before and still smelled it the next morning when I got up. So no issues with longevity or projection to me. Now I do feel like it's not the strongest projector. It is one of those that I feel, well obviously he got the, the scent trail cause he was walking behind me. Um, my boyfriend got the projection because he smelled it like projected off of my skin. I say projection is probably moderate uh, for me with this fragrance on my skin. But I think that is it for this fragrance. I really enjoy it. Like I said, if it's one that you're nervous about as well, do like I did and purchase from Sephora. I will leave the uh, Sephora link down in my description box for anybody that's interested. And of course it'll be an affiliate link. So if you wanna purchase and support me at the same time, then you can use that link to do so. But I did wanna mention some combos that I have worn with this fragrance that I love with it. I enjoy it by itself, so let me just say that. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Most of the time when I wear it to work, it's on its own. I'm wearing it right now by itself, nothing underneath it. I enjoy it by itself. But I do like, y'all know I like the layer. I, I layer whenever I can, basically. Now that I'm back in the office, it's usually just like on the weekends, for real. Um, Cause I don't do like a body cream and then a body spray and a fragrance to work because I'm in the office. I just do a little bit of perfume and that's it usually. But um, I have two combos here that I wanna share with you guys and I feel like these combos will help you if you have this fragrance and you don't find that it's sweet enough for you or nutty enough and you wanna amplify those particular notes in the fragrance. So the first combo I have here, which is one that you guys have probably been seeing a lot on YouTube and I agree that it goes perfectly with that. So this is the Brazilian Crush Mist, and then of course, the Bum Bum Cream. And y'all know they have the same uh, scent. So this is gonna give you your sweet, little salty, uh, nutty summer gourmand fragrance. Um, this is known to be a summer gourmand, works perfectly in the heat, isn't overwhelming or just too sweet in the heat. So I feel like this and this are perfect together because they have that same dynamic. This is gonna amplify that nuttiness in the fragrance and also that sweetness. Now to me in the Bum Bum Cream, I get more almond on my skin than I do pistachio, but it still works here just to amplify a bit of nuttiness just in general and give you more sweetness with your fragrance. Love this combination. Now my other combo here, I discovered from my fellow fragrance girlies, okay? So here they are, they are by Pistache. Skin care, we have the body cream, and then we also have the body mist. This pairing here is my fave between the two combos, even though I really love it with the Brazilian Crush Mist as well. But the nutty note in this is pistachio, and it smells like pistachio. So if you wanna amplify that pistachio note in your uh, Yum fragrance, I'd recommend this combo for sure. Now, I discovered this from my girl Yummy on Instagram. Love her, love her fragrance reviews. She's like literally the sweetest person. So I discovered this from her and I'm so glad I did. It's so moisturizing yet lightweight so it doesn't feel like heavy or greasy on your skin. And the scent is just chef's kiss. It's literally chef's kiss. Look how cute it is too with the mint green. It literally matches the uh, the Kayali bottle is giving, they were meant to be together. <laughs> so I think that's what she did. She layered this one with her Yum fragrance to kind of amplify the nuttiness and the sweetness. This has a pistachio biscotti scent, I think is what the website says. If not, that's exactly what it smells like. I think those biscotti cookies they give you on the airplane. They just taste so good. I love those. I think you can buy them in the store too. 
I know they have the cookie butter, but it, it tastes, tastes. <laughs> That's how good it smells. It smells like exactly like what I would imagine a pistachio flavored biscotti cookie to taste like. And look how pretty and like fluffy and green that is. That looks like ice cream itself, right? So yummy and goes so perfectly with that fragrance. And this combo, along with the mist, the mist has the matching um, pistachio biscotti scent. But these three are definitely gonna have you smelling like pistachio ice cream if that's what you're going for um and you don't feel like you get it from this fragrance or even if you do feel like you get it like me and you just want to amplify that definitely try that out i think amazon sells um the body cream but i purchased my body cream and my mist directly from the website because i didn't see the body mist on amazon and i was watching um ai the greats review on this fragrance and I think she mentioned this as well and somebody in her comments said they just bought the body mist so I went on the hunt for the body mist too because <laughs> of course y'all know I like to layer uh with body creams and body mist when I'm layering and literally perfect that's a perfect combo but let me make sure that is it y'all know I don't take notes before I do these types of videos it's just all straight off the dome so I'm trying to make sure I didn't forget anything that I wanted to let you guys know. One eternity later. If I did, I can't think of it right now. Um, if I do remember something that I forgot, I'll probably leave like a pinned comment or something and let you guys know. Um, Cause it's very likely that I did forget to mention something that I wanted to mention to you guys. But I think that was a pretty in-depth review regardless. Um, I'm seeing that the thing says 30 minutes, so I need to shut up because that's way too long for a review on just one fragrance. So, <laughs> uh, with that said, I am happy that I tried this fragrance and happy to add it to my Kaoli collection. Kaoli is a house in my collection that I have, I think, the most fragrances from. I think I have like 10 or 11 fragrances from Kaoli, something like that. It's high, it's a high number, but I have the most fragrances from the Kaoli brand and I've purchased them all myself. So for me, I like Kaoli. Like they've they've done me well because I enjoy the majority of their fragrances. So usually I'm not too, too nervous about trying them, but I, this one did have me a little nervous. The last one had me a little nervous too. I never, I still haven't tried that one. I still need to get my nose on it, but the patchouli one, the patchouli in the name, <laughs> so baby, I was scared. <laughs> so I haven't even got my nose on that one yet, but this one, I felt, I just wanted to take a chance on it. You know, if it was like a fresh, like, you know, hot weather gourmand fragrance, like some of the reviews are saying, I felt like I would be okay with that. So I, I did it, I bought it from Sephora, remember? buy from Sephora if you're not sure. <laughs> and so it's just a lot easier for you to just take it back. And they're not gonna give you any hassle or anything and you're gonna get a full refund as long as you don't use too much of it, of course. But like I said, glad I tried it, love it. Uh, do see myself repurchasing. And nine times out of 10, it'll be the 100 ml bottle the next time because I'm going through it like crazy. I haven't gotten tired of it yet been reaching for it just about daily for work. Even when I went out of town, I brought it with me for like my, my daytime fragrance. So I really like it, obviously. But yeah, that is all, you guys. Probably tired of seeing these reviews, but I figured I'd post it anyway, just in case anybody was curious about hearing my thoughts on the fragrance. My opinion is in line with some people's, but definitely how long it lasts and all that is not in line with any of the reviews I saw. I think all the reviews I saw had issues with like longevity and projection and whatnot. So I wanted to come and give my little two cents, I guess, to the conversation in case anybody was curious. But yeah, that is all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you didn't already give it a thumbs up, don't forget to do so now and leave me a comment down in the comment section about your thoughts on the fragrance, like I said, if you already tried it or whether or not I've convinced you <laughs> to give it a try. And I think that's it. Thanks guys and see you in my next one, bye.